Welcome back farmhouse friends and welcome to another DIY farmhouse adventure here at Blue Mill Home and Garden. My name is Kim. If you are new, welcome. If you've been around for a while, welcome back. So great to have you along and just continuing following all the updates and fun that we have around the farmhouse. If you're new, go ahead and click subscribe like some of my subscribers have and you will be able to visit the farmhouse more often. If you click that little bell symbol, it will tell you when I post a video so you are sure to stay in the loop of how the progression goes around here. Well, today's shenanigans begins with the idea that we were going to do a DIY sliding barn door. We were going to build the door ourselves along with installing hardware that we were going to make ourselves as well. This was a project that was a little lower on the list and suddenly it got moved up on the list and so I decided to cheat just a little bit. I decided to order a sliding barn door from Amazon and I figured it would come all together. We would just slap it up and it would be done just like that. But that's not what happened. So stay tuned as we take you through this DIY install. I'm going to show you the door, everything that we ordered to go with the door, all the accessories and the door are going to be linked in the description box below. That's just below this video. So if you are interested in finding a door like this, you can find it there at Amazon. And we are going to review the door as we put it up and let you know exactly what we think about it. So let's jump in and get started. So back here is our half bath and the door is off. As you can see here, I just have these beautiful, wonderful farmhouse fabric curtains. And we took this door off when I had my hip replacement because we couldn't get in there. And the door opened in such a way that you had to walk past the bathroom to open the door. So we decided we wanted a sliding barn door. And it's taken us a very long time to do this. but. This week we went ahead because we were pressed for time. We ordered one from Amazon because we thought, well, it'll come together and it will come faster, giving us lots of time and money. But that didn't happen because let me show you how the door arrived. Okay, guys, this big long box here is the door. And as you can see, it's not a 36 inch wide door. Let me open it for you. You see all these little pieces of wood. The door actually has to be assembled. So we actually could have done it ourselves. But if I look here, this is kind of tongue and groove. So I think it's gonna go to, together a lot faster and a lot better. So I guess it's good that we went. And I will link this door down below and all the hardware that we use from Amazon. So if you're interested in the store, you can see exactly where we got it from. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and prepare the space. I've taken down the curtains and I'm going to use that wonderful farmhouse fabric in another project. I'm removing the tie backs that held the curtains open and the hardware. Um, with the door to be able to slide well, I'm going to have to go ahead and remove the trim as well. That was my initial thought. But it turns out once you see uh, the part that we had a problem with that was pretty challenging, uh, at the end I go ahead and put all the trim work back because the door does not bump into the trim work as we first suspected it would. So this work was for nothing, but I didn't know that. And I continued to prepare this area by taking down all the trim, sanding it down, and removing all the nails, anything that could have gotten in the way of the door, I removed all of that first. And then I went ahead and spackled the holes where the tie backs were held and all of the cracks in the wall. I wanted this to be perfect for when the door was in place and opening and closing.
since the door has to be assembled, we are getting together and looking over the instructions to figure it out to see if it is an easy assemble or not. Like I said, I thought this door would be shipped in a flat box and that it would be a 36 inch wide door already constructed, but it came in pieces. So we decided to go over the instructions before we took everything out of the box and just make sure it was something we could do. Now I have to say guys, the construction on this door was so simple. That is one side that is laying across the floor. We had three vertical pieces to put in and that was the top, the middle, and the bottom. The next thing was to sort all the wood pieces. They have little numbers and letters on them to let you know exactly where they go. And so we got those separated and put in place so the assembly part would be easy. And that worked very well. Next step was to get everything together to start the assembly. And it went pretty quick. Really impressed with this part. As you can see here, there is a bag and it has all the hardware that we need and they labeled it very well everything was here and I like to get everything open and laid out so we just reach out and grab what we need that's the kind of prepper and assembler I am let me know in the comments if you are like that I just let everything laid out so we just grab it and go This is literally how simple it is to put it together. Just slide the board down those tongue and groove areas I had pointed out in the box and it just goes together. They each fit onto the other board. They lock in so they fit snugly and tightly and the quality of this wood is really, really good. There were no splinters, there were no dents, there were no chips in the wood. And this is what I'm talking about, that little tongue and groove. Let me lighten this up a little bit for you. There you go. You can see that this is just a tongue and groove and there each board is going to fit snugly into the next board. So this was it for the boards now. Once he places this last board in, we're done and we're ready for the other side of the door. Now remember the door is laying on its side, so he's going to put the other side back in. Now we're not done just yet. There are a couple more things to do here. You have to secure the, the door together. And to do that, um, you just are going to screw it. Now I'm showing you here that there are cross pieces that go in here, but first it has to be screwed together. Now I advise you to get a drill extension because the holes are there and the screws look very long, but they have to go all the way through that side piece down into the top and bottom pieces. So it looks like it's gonna go in there, but it's not. You really do need that extension for your drill. And I don't think it says that in the instructions. So just a heads up on that. We actually used a screwdriver at first, but then we got a drill instruction. And it went much faster with that extension. So here we are, that part is finished. Now we're gonna go ahead and put on our cross pieces. You want them to make an arrow or a backwards K, and that was really simple. Now there are other patterns that you could use. You could rearrange them and do it that way if you chose. All of the holes on this piece were pre-drilled on the entire door, and they matched up perfectly. We had no other drilling to do, no other alterations to make. I really like that. They did a really, really good job so that your part of the assembly is very, very simple. And isn't it great when you have some help when you get stuck? I got that screw in wrong and I had help getting it put back in the proper space and again, it went really super fast. And every hole was pre-drilled, every screw was in the right place. I cannot say enough about how easy 
this door went together and the quality of the door I don't know if you can see the wood in the camera but it is beautiful wood and so here we are discussing the other see you could have done a, a design like this the K could have went the other way or it goes this way still forming that arrow and again we just laid out the screws and put them in easy peasy The next step were these little wooden pegs and they got pounded in. So now you can see how deep that screw had to be in there. That just gave it a really finished look. Now all my spackling is dry and I'm going back and just preparing the surface, getting it all sanded down and ready for the next step. Now the hardware that we chose was from Homelux. Again, this video is not sponsored by anyone. But look at how well this is packaged. Every little piece is subcategorized and the instructions read very well. So this was pretty simple to put up. Now, it tells you that if your wall is not completely straight, you must use a one by six to straighten out your wall so that the hardware that is going to hold the door is perfectly straight, making sure the door will slide. Now our 1860 farmhouse walls were not straight and this wall must have been an afterthought because it is pretty wonky. Is wonky a word? Wonky is a good word. It is a great word. But we got that up, the hardware is up, the door is up, and look how gorgeous this is. And you can see with this really narrow hallway and this bathroom that a regular door didn't work here. It just didn't. It was terrible to try to get through there. So now we have decided to paint our door and I am using Walmart Color Place Interior in the color Valspar from Lowe's Cracked Black pepper so you can get this paint either at Walmart in the color place and they can look up that color from Valspar black pepper from Lowe's now I've had the paint from Lowe's and I've had it from Walmart I originally painted a lot of our doors in in the original redo a couple years ago in the cracked pepper from Valspar at Lowe's and I didn't like the consistency of the paint and I've used Walmart paint for years because when you have a big project, you want to cut corners where you can. And I really don't feel like I cut corners when I'm using that Walmart paint. It's nice and thick. And when you live on a farm and you have kids and dogs, there's a lot of wall scrubbing going on. And that paint has really held up to lots of scrubbing. And I'm sure everyone has their favorite paint. And that's why I've listed both. You can get this at Lowe's in the Valspar brand, or you can take that color swatch to Walmart and get their color place. This is in satin. That is the finish I chose. Both times I've used the paint, it has been in satin. Satin is my favorite finish to use. Um, I don't like a lot of gloss, but I want cleanability. So. I always get the sad. Let me know in the comments what your favorite sheen of paint is. Do you like the eggshell? Are you a flat person? Let me know.
I went with one coat and I really liked how you could see the wood grain coming through. But there were places where I had gone and used the brush to get into the cracks and do the outline trim where it was darker. So I actually went ahead and put a second coat on. But in the end, you still could see the wood grain coming through the door and I was totally okay with that. So it had a nice deep black color and I love the way the color turned out. I love the way the door looked so industrial farmhouse just beautiful and we did choose black because the wall is white and the wall on the other side all the other walls are gray this was our one light colored wall because you could see it from the kitchen and so all our other doors are black that is why we went with black but you could totally leave this door clear and unfinished and just seal it and it would be beautiful I found this beautiful rustic door pull on Amazon and again that will be linked below and that was the last step that I had to do was install this. Now on the opposite side there is a rustic lock and a device where you simply pull the door shut with just your fingers and that was very easy to install as well. I didn't film that but I will link those pieces down below because they do go with well with this piece also. Well friends, that's it for this video. You could see how it turned out. Guys, we are so happy with the store. I am so happy that I cheated a little bit. There was some DIY elements still involved and a little bit was a little bit tricky and challenging for sure. So please give this video a thumbs up if you love sliding barn doors. Thanks so much for stopping by the farmhouse. Be blessed and be safe and we'll see you soon.